part, uh, day, I don't know, four of the new apron. How's it looking? So I'm kind of excited because I got a delivery from my art store that I made like a couple weeks ago and I don't really remember what I ordered. So I'm hoping for some inspiration, some kind of like, you know, I don't have any like color combo ideas right now. So I'm hoping, <gasps> look at it. this box will help me out. Now, I know I bought some things that I've already used that I need, but I've also bought some things that I have not used before and I'm excited. So number one, there is obviously a bunch of Amsterdam tubes for my, I'll just unbox the whole thing for you. Why not? Unless it's boring. Uh, Pru Amsterdam Prussian blue, by the way, I use often. I love it. And it's a great cell activator. And of course, Payne's gray. Let's put it over here. Then what do we have here? Aha. Uh -huh. So this is Pebio um, bin Bindex Brilliant acrylic binder. I played around with this for making different um, pigment cell activators, but also for making pigments into paint when you want to gloss them over. So this is always a good thing to have. I do have a video of me using this way back. It was in a piggy collaboration where I turned piggies into paint. Pebio. And it dries clear, which is what I like. Amsterdam Deep Gold. Um, it's kind of fun to add if you want to make a gold style activator. You can just use this or if you want it even more sparkly, you can add some. Well, I use TLP piggies, uh, but you can use any kind of sparkly pigments and that will help too. What else have we got? Oh yes, uh, Permanent Blue Violet. Another great color and another great style activator. Now, I don't know why I got this. I think I have one. Ultramarine Violet. Now, for uh, blooms, for some reason, using, when I use these types of purples, these like dusty purples, they always end up looking very like kind of dirty. Uh, I don't know if that just happens when they stretch out or what. I don't have, that's why I love using TLP Enchantment, by the way, because this always looks this color. Uh, maybe I should show you this one next time better. Um, because these, they don't really work for me so much. Maybe I'll try to get them to work. What else have we got here? Oh, a little titanium white and a little caput boredom violet, which I think I already have. Sometimes I just get way too excited. All right, I think those are it for the Amsterdam. Now we have carbon black, which I use a lot. Golden, Payne's gray, which I use a lot. Uh, oh, and a little Prussian blue. Why not, right? Now let's go into the fun things. Uh, oh, apparently also I got this quinacridone red. I don't know why. Maybe we'll use it in our inspo today. So I really like tri art. Now they can be, um, I don't know if they're more expensive, but the thing that I liked, I used it in one of my old videos and you guys all complained that it was too expensive, which is true. Um, ish it's true ish. I'm just taking them all out. It's the liquid mirror that I used in one of my videos. I don't remember how much it was. This is, I don't know if you can see here. Um, it's not a full reflection, but it's more of like a kind of silver. Uh, so it's fun to play with. You don't really, it's not like amazing where you need to get it if you find it's too expensive, but just saying it could be fun. Let's look at other tri art stuff. Tri art is Canadian. Um, but they do sell in some place in the States. I got this very pretty phthalo turquoise light, right? Kind of nice. I got this rose gold. Try it out, right? I got this interference turquoise. I'm gonna compare it to some piggies, but yeah, could be cool. Then we have this graphite gray. Mm, I don't know. Could be something. Are you guys interested? Um, iridescent deep gold, why not? Maybe try it as a cell activator. Got this uh, ultramarine blue. Uh, and I got this ultramarine violet. Hmm. Okay, now that's it for, oh no. What I did, look at this. Apparently I got a big rose gold too for some reason, okay. 
Oh, and I have a new idea coming up, which I won't tell you about yet, but I do have some clear modeling paste. Now, in my other video, what I did discover, I think Triart is the only one that I've seen that has clear modeling paste, although it is matte. So and just keep that in mind. I got three of those and then I'm going to try, I don't remember where I got this, Liquitex Liquithic Additive could be used maybe, I don't want to say anything, but if your cell activator is too thin or something, maybe doing this Liquithic can do something. I don't know yet. Um, oh, what is this? Flexible modeling paste. Uh, this is not clear though. This is opaque. Um, and it's for gels and pastes. Apparently I have a lot of projects and I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I got this new type of paint I've never used before. I think, so I'm in Canada and my art store, the big art store is called Desairs. So this could be their home brand. Um, I got these metallic paints to try out. Um, ooh, Moonstone. This is called Moonstone. This is Zircon. Now, I think they're quite thin. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so they're more like a fluid. So I'll have to keep that in mind when I add them. Oh, pretty though. Let's see. Yeah, sparkly. When I add them to my thing. Uh, we have Imperial Topaz and Hematite, hematite, that's nice. Okay, and my good old standards, I used to use, when I first started a couple years ago, Prism Violet, this is gouache, Liquitex gouache, and peach. Why did I get peach? I do not know, but I do like Liquitex gouache, I'm already getting them dirty. Well, that was my big haul, oh my God, that took so long. So let's talk about what we're inspired to do. I am inspired, to try out this rose gold and i think i'm gonna use this as my faux pillow meaning um i'm gonna do this as my background and i think we're gonna go flowy today and what that means is i'm not gonna be concerned about cells and i'm gonna make my pouring medium thinner than it usually is to get a more flowy look rather than a cell popping look now, because of the colors that I got, I think we are going to go maroons and purples. Wait, maybe we'll go to Amsterdam. I'll have to make my own maroons. Maroons, purples over, is this crazy? Over a rose gold situation. Huh. All right, well, that could be something. All right, so let me clean this up. I'm gonna mix up a few paints and then we'll see if uh, it's gonna work. Be right back. Okay, I already had these colors mixed up from before, so I figured why not add them into the mix, maybe. This is Holbein Shell Pink. I'm gonna have to thin them down a bit, but I just want to show you. This is TLP Golden Peach, TLP Enchantment, and this is Holbein Amethyst Purple, okay? So I wanted more of a red, maroony situation to happen. So what do I got going on here? I have this Cad Red Purple, which I thought might go well with a little bit of this blue uh, violet because I wanted to cool it down a bit. So let's see what happens. Now, I usually have my paints mixed up in a proper little cup to make it easier, but I don't. So this is my Bare 8300. I'm gonna bloop it in, and I'm not even gonna put that much because I'm using two paints, so I know it's gonna get quite thick. It's probably too much already, to be honest. And I'm gonna bloop in my Joe Sonia. I have a whole mixing consistency video a few videos back. Uh, of course, I don't have mixing sticks, one second. So if you want to see like exactly what you're looking for, I would suggest looking at that video. Now, Lisa Marvin, have you run out of mixing sticks? That would be quite embarrassing. Oh my God, guys, I think they just ran out of mixing sticks. 
Do not panic. I found this one clean one. We'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm looking for a maroony color. So I might have to thin this down, but that's okay. Let's start with our a bit of this cad red purple. Oh, it's quite bright. Not very maroonish at all, is it? All right. Now let's add a permanent blue violet. I love mixing reds and purples together. Let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh, that's what I'm looking for. All right. Look at that. I like it. It's kind of like, is it red? Is it purple? You don't know what's happening. Um, cool. Okay, so we're gonna thin her down. Now, do I want a deeper red situation? I might, let me think about it for a minute. Okay, so, hmm. All right, let's go with a bit of this quinacone red and I'll add a bit of Diox Purple. They're very strong colors, so you wanna be careful. Gotta open her up, she's brand new. Very similar to that cad red purple, just a little deeper. And we're going in with just a splash. I'm gonna do more purple. Okay, diox, because I want this deeper. Now to find a mixing stick. Uh, find a mixing stick. Lisa is prepared. Don't get mad at me. Cause I'm just gonna use this stick and break it. Okay. This is gonna get messy, but that's what it's all about. Okay, so oy, oy, oy. let's see what happens. So this is the Dodge Purple with a dash of the red. Let's see if it does anything. Kind of, it like definitely lightens it up a bit, but not enough of the red yet. We'll have to add a little bit more of the dash. I love doing this. Oopsie. Mixing custom colors. Super fun. Uh, and then I think, how do we feel about these colors? Um, oh, that's pretty purple. I like it. Um, we need like probably something to, I actually like this better than this. So why don't we swap it? Cause this is too, a little too boring. This is much warmer and kind of goes with what's happening now. So what if I do now, because I'm crazy, we're gonna go Payne's gray and red to really make it deep, okay? So we're gonna do it again, a little bloop. Bloop, bloop, good. And ooh, then we're gonna go bloop, bloop, right? Then, breaking another stick to use. We are gonna go bloop, bloop, oops, something fell in there, hold on. Bloop, bloop, and a bit of a bloop, a bit of a bloop. Cause this Payne's Gray is also a very deep blue compared to like the Amsterdam Payne's Gray, which is more of a gray. So we'll see what fun deep purplish situation happens with this one. All right, still blue, not enough red as of yet. And see, it turned very uh, blue. So let's go blue. I almost want something even darker. I just don't want to, I would put the um, Amsterdam Prains Gray in there, but it's just gonna like thicken it up a bit too much. I might have to though, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
So I want something kind of deep. Although, did I think about what color cell activator I'm using? Ooh, this is a really nice and cool purple. Not dark enough though, but I like the shade because this is cool, whereas these are very warm. So I am gonna take, I might have to thin it out some more. I am gonna take my, um, cause I could add some, I don't wanna add black, but I could if I wanted. I am gonna add my Payne's Gray um, from Amsterdam because it's darker. See the how dark, different it is compared to the golden? <laughs> I should just do this video about mixing and like, because it's getting so long already. But yeah, that's kind of more like it. I was looking for like a dusty, dusky kind of purple. Yeah, I like that. You know, like very moody. I like it a lot. Although, it's like a similar tone to this one, just this is cool, this is warm. But I, lo I love this. I don't know if I like them together. You know? Yeah, this might be a little too red for me. I like these two colors together. Okay. Well, you see, and this is what we have to do sometimes. You know what? I like her, but we're just gonna put her aside for a minute, all right? Because this was kind of my vision. I still do want a deeper red, but sometimes red is just crazy and takes over. Okay, now my question is, I have two backgrounds I wanted to try. This is the rose gold, and this is the hematite. Hematite. Um, hmm. This, I like, I really want to try, but it just might be a little too in your face obnoxious. You know what I mean? Or should I just go with the plain, there's like the moon one. What is this? This is the moonstone where it's not as pink. So it wouldn't be as in your face. You know what I mean? But there would still be some sparkle. I'll do this way. Still be some sparkle. Land. What about the zircon? Right? You know what? Let's do that. It's not so crazy in your face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this into my pouring medium too. Um, I probably want to mix, I don't have a bigger cup, so I'm going to mix it into two cups. Bloop. Bloop. I've never used this type of paint before, so it should be good. Bloop. 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 After all this work, it better look nice, right? Oh, that's a lot. All right. Oh, I need another mixing stick. I need someone to like be in charge of my life. <laughs> and tell me, uh-oh, you know, you're running out of stuff. So then I have to think, what size am I actually going to do? Um, to start, um, hmm, what are we going to do? Maybe I should start with like a 8 or 10 incher for us to see, right? Okay, so. Oh, did I, okay, here we go. Zircon. See, it's very liquidy. Let's see. I might have filled this guy up too much. But very pearlescent, you know. Um, and I guess, I don't even know, you know, if you aren't in Canada, I don't know if you can get this specific thing if we like it. However, you could use any good quality stuff. Like it's just pearl, you know, like big whoop. And I think for the cell activator, we're just going to use white because that's what I have mixed up right now. And we don't want to stress about it, right? Okay, so this is the color combo that's going to happen. This is the background. I think it could be nice. Um, right? Or is it too boring? Oh, yeah, yeah, Lisa Marvin. No, we're just going with it. I did it. Okay, let me move this aside and we'll get to work. Okay, I have my 10 inch round 
I am pouring my pillow paint, Glidden Essentials, Essentials eggshell. It's a little thickety, dickety currently. Hopefully she wants to work. We'll see. Now, I don't, remember, I'm gonna try to go minimal. Oh, this is really thick. Um, so what happens if I like leave it open for a bit in my basement. So let me just thin it out a bit. So I don't wanna to put too, too much paint down. You know what, this is kind of like goofy. I don't know if I wanna use this one. Um, let me see. Yeah. If your products are not perfect, well, you know what, why don't I show you? Uh, what I've curr I'm currently mixing, because I decanted, when I get a can, I decant into three things. Now, this one was covered, this one was not covered. So, you know, this, so this one is fine, this one is a, mm, a little suspect. So why don't we try, see how it looks, and if it's no bueno, we'll use this one. All right? So, back to business. Let me get the boob lays. Boob lays out. Okay. Now, also, I've added to the mix, because this was already mixed up, TLP Horizon, which could be cool. I don't know. So let's start. Now, number one, I see I almost forgot the whole point of what I was doing. Normally, you would wait, because you see these air bubbles. They might be a little annoying. So normally, you don't want air bubbles, but you know me. I'm super impatient. So what I'm doing is I'm making the background this. This is also quite thick. This could be a good experiment to show what happens when your paints are too thick. So this is going to be the background. The rest is going to spin out, technically, if I do everything correctly. Okay, so here we go. So, so far, I mean, it's a nice color, right? Let's start now. We have, I'm just gonna go small. Uh, or do I wanna do like a little vine? Why don't I do a little vine? Okay, we have Enchantment, TLP, oops. Try not to get any drippies, right? Um, this is the custom purple. It's like the smoky purple. Also very thick. <laughs> and then we have our TLP Golden Peach. Okay. Then we have Holbein Shell Pink. I hope this is worth it. TLP Horizon. Such a vibrant orange. I'm not even an orange person, but like, wow. And this is the custom mm, something. Figure out what to call it. Purple pink. <laughs> I don't know. Purple red. Okay. Now, we have my cell activator. How's she doing? She might need a little thinning. She's a tad thick. So what I'm gonna do, uh, just take my Australian flow troll and add a little dash. You want to adjust as you go if you see something isn't right. That's why measurements don't mean anything and you have to look for yourself. That's why you should watch my video. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here we go.
freaking up the cell activator. All right, not so bad. Okay. Um, cool. Cool. I like it. Okay, so. You know what? The shape isn't even that bad. Normally I would kind of take my skewer, which I'm trying to avoid, and like, you know, make petals or whatever, but you know what? They're not so bad. Like maybe I'll do a little bit, but I did pretty good, if you ask me. <laughs> All right. Let's spin her out. So first I'm gonna stretch her back and forth a little bit. Cause I don't want too much of the edges falling off. Okay, and we'll go slow and we'll kind of like move it back and forth to see. Let me just get this edge off a little bit and then we'll bring her back down the other way. Mm. Good. And I liked her back this way, I think. I just want to get off as much paint as possible without ruining the edges too much, you know? All right, I mean, pretty, I think, pretty colors. I will um, bring her to the light so you can see um, how cool the sparkle is, if it's cool at all. Um, thanks for sticking with me. Let me know what you guys think. Um, hopefully this inspired you to kind of play around Make, I'm just gonna fix some boobles. Um, make your own stuff, you know what I mean? Have some fun. All right, have a good day, bye.